Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, and it's uh, August 10th. Hey, I uh, just want to give you a heads up. Tomorrow I will not be available to do these recordings tomorrow, So, but I will be back on Monday to uh, continue. So I apologize in advance. Um, as I've been to before, I'm on vacation up until the 15th, and uh, trying to get these reports still out to you, but uh, tomorrow we'll be in the area where I won't be able to... Um, create these uh, videos for you guys so but I will still be able to probably do it on Twitter I'll uh, have my cell phone or I'll be able to check reports and uh, post on Twitter some uh, updates and stuff like that so if you want updates just come over to my Twitter channel which I'll give you the information at the end of this video so let's not without further ado let's take a look here at the economic uh, calendar we got the initial uh, the weekly job is coming, so we always have every week, every Thursday. So last week we had 241,000 people apply for unemployment. Uh, forecast is 242, and it came at uh, 244,000, kind of right in line with expectations. Uh, we've been kind of seeing this range, which is, uh, you know, these are actually really good ranges. We really haven't seen this low of uh, for a long period of time since the 1970s. This is how long. Uh, uh, how long this has been going on for and it, or how long we've had this type of good uh, reporting. So these are actually very good reportings we've been receiving here. Uh, producer price index, also known as the PPI. This is the inflation index on the wholesale side of things. We look more care closely at the consumer side with the PCE and the CPI, which CPI will be out tomorrow. Uh, but we also kind of look at a more of a moderate look at the uh, producer price index. And that's only because um, you know, even though costs may go up on uh, on the wholesale side of things, it, but it doesn't always get passed on to the consumer, and that's where we're more concerned about. So back in uh, June, we had an increase of 0.1 percent. They thought in July would go up to point go up 2.2 percent, and it actually dropped 1.1. 1. 1. 0.1%. So, of course, you know, year over year, it dropped a little bit further, just like we've been kind of seeing on the other inflation, which has been kind of frustrating the Fed because, of course, they're seeing, they want to see uh, inflation close to the 2% range. And PCE uh, has been pretty stubborn as to being able to come up. And a lot of that is uh, due to wages. Wages aren't increasing uh, as much as they'd like. So that's what's kind of holding inflation in check. So the headline news, uh, stock market is still down. We're still getting a few earnings reports coming out here and there uh, you know, overall. But uh, the big thing, of course, is this continued uh, tension between the U.S. and North Korea. You know, there's more and more um, information coming out, more and more words are being exchanged. And it seems to be mounting up more and more uh, between the two countries and, it's, of course, making uh, investors um, more jittery. Of course, we're hoping nothing, uh, you know, happens but uh but again it's just you know a lot of things are kind of going back and forth and you just never know what uh the two leaders as to what may uh may happen so uh, let's take a look here at the bond market right now we're up about 16 base points we're uh, pushing this uh, second line of resistance we did pull back yesterday we had a kind of a uh, pullback uh, primarily because we had a poor um uh, uh auction yesterday and it, uh, so we fell off of our highs uh, today we do have an auction so that could be a possibility happening again today uh, but again we're up about 16 base points from where we left off yesterday which translates to a little better pricing uh, today as a result all right so that pretty much concludes that but uh, again here's the twitter as i mentioned earlier just come over to mike bjork on twitter and i'll be posting updates throughout the day here uh, and then uh, I'll try to uh, be posting that tomorrow so you guys got uh, a gauge as to where things are at with the on Twitter all right folks you guys have a great uh, weekend here uh, as I won't be able to see you guys tomorrow I hope you guys enjoy yourselves and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys uh, back on Monday take care bye-bye thanks again for watching bye-bye